time. It's the one constant in our universe. It marches forward, shaping our lives and the world around us. History, the story of humanity, flows like a river through time. We mark its passage with years, decades and centuries. But what if our understanding of time, of history itself, was flawed? What if we weren't actually living in the year 2024? This is the perplexing question posed by the phantom time hypothesis. It suggests that a significant chunk of early medieval history, approximately 614 to 911 AD, never happened. If true, it means our calendar is off and we are not living in the year we think we are. Buckle up, because things are about to get weird. Imagine our historical timeline as a grand tapestry, intricately woven with the threads of countless events, people and places. Now, picture someone taking a pair of scissors and snipping out nearly 300 years, expertly stitching the ends back together so seamlessly that you wouldn't even notice the missing time. That's essentially what the phantom time hypothesis proposes, a bold and controversial idea that has sparked much debate among historians and scholars. This theory, as outlandish as it may seem, suggests that the years 614 to 911 AD are a fabrication, a phantom period inserted into our history by those in power. This means Charlemagne, the Holy Roman Emperor, may never have existed, and the events attributed to him might be entirely fictional. The Vikings, those fierce seafaring warriors, might have raided different shores in a different time. Sound crazy? It certainly challenges our understanding of history. Hold on, because it gets even more intriguing as we delve into the arguments put forth by the theory's proponents. They present evidence and reasoning that make you question the very fabric of our historical knowledge. Yeah, it's wild to think about, right? The idea that a significant chunk of our past could be nothing more than an elaborate illusion. But that's exactly what the phantom time hypothesis is all about. It forces us to reconsider the accuracy of our historical records and the reliability of the sources we trust. It challenges everything we thought we knew about this period in history, urging us to look closer and question deeper. Could it be true, or is it just a fascinating conspiracy theory? The debate continues. The phantom time hypothesis is not the stuff of late-night radio conspiracy theories. It was first proposed in 1991 by Herbert Illig, a German historian. Illig, a man of considerable intellect, questioned the accuracy of historical dating methods used for the early Middle Ages. Illig argued that these methods, often relying on the interpretation of old documents and artifacts, were prone to errors and misinterpretations. He pointed to inconsistencies in historical accounts, missing archeological evidence, and the perceived lack of technological and cultural advancement during this period. Illig's ideas, while controversial, sparked debate and forced a re-examination of long-held historical assumptions. One of the main pillars supporting the phantom time hypothesis is the alleged scarcity of archaeological evidence from the period in question. Proponents point to a lack of artifacts and architectural remains that can be definitively dated to the years 614 to 911 AD. They argue that the few existing structures attributed to this era, like the Palatine Chapel in Aachen, Germany, could have been built later and misdated. This gap in the archaeological record, they claim, is evidence of a fabricated past, a phantom period inserted into our timeline. But how strong is this evidence? Let's just say it's not as clear-cut as proponents might have you believe. Section 5. The Carolingian Renaissance. A fabrication? The Carolingian Renaissance, a period of intellectual and cultural flourishing under Charlemagne's rule, is another point of contention for phantom time enthusiasts. They argue that this supposed renaissance was not as significant as historians portray. They point to the lack of groundbreaking scientific discoveries or revolutionary artistic movements during this time. 
This, they claim, suggests that the Carolingian Renaissance was either greatly exaggerated or entirely fabricated to fill the void of the phantom years. Of course, this argument relies on a very particular interpretation of historical events, one that downplays the cultural and intellectual achievements of the era. Section 6. Debunking the Myth Counter-Arguments to Phantom Time While the Phantom Time hypothesis might sound intriguing, it has faced significant criticism from the scientific and historical communities. Historians and archaeologists argue that the evidence presented by Illig and his supporters is anecdotal and cherry-picked. They point to a wealth of archaeological findings, including coins, pottery, and even written documents, that can be reliably dated to the period in question. These artifacts, they argue, provide tangible proof that the years 614 to 911 AD were not simply a figment of someone's imagination. Furthermore, the idea that a conspiracy of such massive scale could be successfully executed and maintained for centuries stretches the bounds of plausibility. Section 7. The Importance of Scientific Dating Methods Central to debunking the phantom time hypothesis is the use of scientific dating methods, such as radiocarbon dating and dendrochronology, or tree ring dating. These methods, grounded in physics and biology, provide objective and verifiable dates for artifacts and organic materials. Radiocarbon dating, for example, can determine the age of organic matter by measuring the decay of carbon-14 isotopes. Dendrochronology, on the other hand, uses the growth rings of trees to create a chronological timeline. These scientific dating methods, developed and refined over decades, provide strong evidence against the phantom time hypothesis. They offer a level of accuracy and reliability that simply cannot be matched by subjective interpretations of historical texts or architectural styles. Section 8. History as we know it. The enduring power of evidence. The phantom time hypothesis, despite its flaws, serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the need to constantly re-examine our understanding of the past. This hypothesis, which suggests that a significant portion of the early Middle Ages was fabricated, challenges us to look deeper into the evidence and question our assumptions. However, it's crucial to remember that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. When faced with such bold assertions, we must demand robust and compelling proof to support them. In the case of Phantom Time, the evidence simply doesn't hold up to scrutiny. The documents, artifacts, and records from that era have been meticulously examined by historians and scientists alike. The weight of historical and scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the timeline as we know it. The consistency and reliability of these sources reinforce our understanding of the past. The years 614 to 911 AD, far from being a phantom period, were a time of significant historical developments. These centuries witnessed the rise of influential empires and the spread of transformative ideas. From the rise of Islam to the reign of Charlemagne, these years shaped the course of history in profound ways. The cultural, political and religious shifts during this time laid the foundations for the modern world. To erase them from our collective memory would be to deny the richness and complexity of our past. Understanding and preserving this history is essential for appreciating the intricate tapestry of human civilization. Section 9. Conclusion. Our place in the tapestry of time. Time, that relentless river, continues to flow, carrying with it the stories of countless generations. Each moment that passes becomes a part of the vast, intricate tapestry that is our history. History, the story of our species, unfolds with each passing moment, revealing the triumphs and tragedies of those who came before us. It is a living narrative, constantly being rewritten as new discoveries come to light. While the phantom time hypothesis may not hold water, it serves as a poignant reminder that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving. Theories like these challenge us to think critically about the evidence we have and the conclusions we draw from it. New discoveries and interpretations can challenge long-held beliefs, 
forcing us to reassess our place in the grand tapestry of time. Each artifact unearthed, each manuscript deciphered, adds another thread to the complex weave of our history. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our past, we must approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism, a thirst for knowledge, and above all, a deep respect for the scientific method. This rigorous approach ensures that our understanding of history is as accurate and comprehensive as possible. So, the next time you hear about a theory that seems too outlandish to be true, remember the phantom time hypothesis. It stands as a testament to the importance of questioning and verifying the stories we accept as truth. It's a reminder that while history may be written by the victors, it is ultimately the evidence that determines the victors of truth. The artifacts, documents and relics of the past are the silent witnesses that speak volumes about our shared journey through time.